Hello, geometry students and geometry lovers. Today's topic is angle measures and segment lengths. This is created by the uh, software TI Inspire. All right, this theorem says the measure of an angle formed by two lines that intersect right here in the middle inside a circle is half the sum of the intercepted arcs. So here's one intercepted arc from A to C, and here's another intercepted arc from B to D. So what this means is that this angle right here, 45, and this angle here, 87, if we add those together and divide by 2, it should equal this angle here, formed by these two lines crossing. You see when we move things around, That is the case. Here, let me try and pick an easy one to see. 70 and 30. They add together to 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Now, the measure of an angle formed by two lines that intersect outside of a circle, which is point E here, is half the difference of the intercepted arcs. So what does that mean? That means that we've got uh, arc angle measure AC, which is right here, 62.9, and this arc angle measure here, BD, 15.2. If we subtract 15.2 away from 62.9, and divide it by 2, you'll see up here, that will equal the angle inside here from B to E to D. Now this theorem has three cases. For a given point and a circle, the product of the lengths of two segments from the point to the circle is constant along any line through the point and the circle. All right, so this is kind of a complicated concept, so I thought I'd put in some fun colors here to make it a little bit easier to see. Basically, blue multiplied by green is going to equal the same thing as violet multiplied by red. So if you uh, are being taught this concept, you can expect a few problems that will somehow involve a cross product. As we change these around here, we see that they continue to equal 57.8, even when I move the middle part around. doesn't have to be right in the center of a circle, they can cross anywhere. Now I'm gonna do something kinda crazy here and this will lead into case two. What if I move this point outside of the circle? Whoop. Okay, the colors got a little bit messed up here but all the same. AE, which is this blue part here, multiplied by EB which is no longer entirely green, but it spans here from E to B, is still equal to CE, uh, right here, multiplied by ED, this point all the way over to D. And case number two will show that a little bit more clearly. So instead of using point names, I thought I'd name the segments to make things a little bit more understandable. W, the red segment, multiplied by the quantity W plus X is going to be equal to Y times the quantity Y plus Z. Here, watch this. As the quantities change, they continue to equal each other.
Doesn't matter where we move them. Third case and the last case is when we have a tangent. Here's our point of tangency. And in a way, it's a little bit simpler. If we square t, whatever the green line happens to be, that will equal the same thing as y times the quantity y plus z. In other words, red times the quantity of uh, red and blue together. 